Okay. What is that? The witch told us to head for that giant light shaft out there. Is there something glowing inside that knot? I think you killed it. Look up there! Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Boy. Yes, sir. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. We will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The rogue one's lost. Oh. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Is that Sindri? Look, 
There's a boat tangled up over there. How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you... They make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. brother lay his hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. And what do you have your eye on? What did we miss?
Be seeing ya. Atreus, to me. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the life, they kept them isolated. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. <clears throat> Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. be the ring temple. It's 
sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus.
this out. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. were you going to tell me about war? Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Good.
We'll need something to get through this one. Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. Oh, we will finish that later. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. And Sindri made Mom the axe just to help her survive? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Where do you come from? Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there?
Okay, so that did something, I think. together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the sand bowl what's that Never know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well... Good thing I didn't drink any seawater. Ready? Yes, it is. Father! The pillars and ring form an elvish room! Draw it. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. Yes. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. Who they want he looks different. Look at those horns. Do not do Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up.
Be ready. What? Hope that was worth it. Keep moving. Think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. Atreus to me!
You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Across here. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay.
If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right.
Well, there it is. Watch our backs, boy. Guess the light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. This way. Hey, Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Whoa. 
You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me, just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? <sighs> Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Let's get to it. Yes, dear boy? And for you? Ah, what more do you need? Happy to provide. Another one here. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book?
more of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. We're inside. Of course. 